Hey everyone, welcome to a new video with a very, very exciting pen. I'm just going to introduce the pen and then we're going to go over and we're going to look at the pen. We're going to look at the packaging, but we're going to do this in intimate detail on the desk because this pen is way cute. So this pen, this is a hint. First of all, you know how much I hate packaging and I so dig this packaging. The pen is the, okay, let's see if I can get the name right. Pen Gallery Limited Edition Sailor Professional Gear uh, Musubi. Wait, 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 no, 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 I ain't gonna get it. Sailor Musan King Fountain Pen. Okay, and why is this exciting to me? It's exciting because it's one of my favorite colors. Um, I was on Instagram and I saw that Pen Gallery posted this pen and I was like, oh, I don't need another pen and I don't need another sailor, but it's my one of my favorite colors and I love the fruit even though it's stank. And so the pen is this. It is named after the durian. It is dedicated to the durian fruit and it is only available from Pen Gallery because they are limited and there's like 388 of them and I bought two of them. And the reason I bought two of them is because I'm gonna be doing something exciting with the second one, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. I wanna show you this pen in exquisite detail. Um, it's about 350 US. You can buy it online from them. They are super sweet. They also have Tomoe River journals that I really like, and I should have had it ready to go, and it's here, and I'm gonna show you. It's called the Live Notes. Very thin, and I like thin Tomoe journals because they are just really portable. So it's A5, one of my favorite sizes. They also have two super sheeting inks made by Dye Mine. There's the Mangi Mangis, which is named after the Mangosteen, and um, Jalur Gamilang, and I hopefully I pronounced that right. Somebody corrected me. I don't know. Uh, hopefully I got it right. I'm sorry. Um, so it's super sheening blue ink with red sheen and a super sheening purple ink with golden purple sheen. They're both very, very exciting, very pretty. Um, but we're going to ink this pen up. We're going to look at the packaging in more detail because if I like the packaging, you know it must be cute. Now I'm going to show you that I have bought a Zoom nib. And that is one of the reasons I bought this pen was because often from um, the, like the Japan exclusive sailors and stuff like that, they're just like fine medium broads or like the H, H, M, H, F. And I'm like, I, sometimes you can't even get a broad, right? And they had the Zoom and I just like snapped it up. I was like, done, I'm getting the Zoom. And that's what I did. So I'm really excited about this pen. It's it's been a while that I've actually bought myself a pen that I was really excited about and not just like, oh, I'm gonna buy this pen for review or like buy this pen to give to a friend or something. This is a pen that's going into my collection and I'm super excited about it. So let's go take a look at it and we can see how it writes because I haven't even used it yet. I was saving it for you. So let's see how it writes and that's everything. I'm really excited. I'll see you in a second. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, welcome to the exciting part of this video, which is not my face, it is the box. Wow. So <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is the Sailor Professional Gear Durian Musang King Fountain Pen from Pen Gallery in Malaysia. Uh, it is a limited edition. So they have created a super cute pen. I'm really excited about it. It's really cute. Collaboration between Sailor and Pen Gallery. Uh, limited edition to only 388 pieces. You get a special box. You know I hate boxes, but I love this one. So they, they have a really cute description on their pen, um, on their pe website, sorry. They said, um, this is a special edition that is crafted from the much lo loved Sailor Professional Gear 21 karat gold nib fountain pen. For the barrel, we looked at the Pantone charts to bring you a color that is the actual Musang King fruit's flesh color. This is durian. Durian fruit is known for uh, mostly being really, really stinky, and I know it's banned in some places. And the weird thing is it smells like, like corpse, but it's like super creamy and delicious. So it's one of those things where your nose is tricking you. But I think the horrible smell, like that adds to like the aromatics of the stank adds to the flavor somehow, like blue cheese, like stinky cheese. And um, so they said, the 21 karat gold nib is as smooth and enjoyable to use as the Musang King is to be eaten. In line with the theme of the ultimate king of fruits, the pen is trimmed with gold plating to further accentuate the royal experience and also has a discreet image of the durian printed on the barrel end. 
super cute. So I'm a total sucker and I totally fell for this pen and I had to have it. So this is the packaging, which is the outside of the fruit. I love it. Love it. Very classy sailor box. I like this way more than their blue clamshell navy one. Like I hate that box and I love this white, tidy, clean, super cute. So I got the zoom nib. It came in a plastic sleeve. Um, it did not come with a converter, um, which is unfortunate, especially at the price of like 350 US or so, but this is way cute. So there we go. Um, that's what I just read to you. And number 226 of 388, Pen Gallery and Sailor. Um, that comes with two ink. Oh, oh my God, it does have an ink converter. What is wrong with me? Oh, wait a minute. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot, sorry. So it does have a converter and now I am 100% happy because these converters are not inexpensive. Like they're like 10 bucks US. So it's like, you know, they're pricey. Two ink cartridges. Oh, this is so much better. I was like so confused. Um, and then your pamphlet about like how to use the pen, all that stuff. Okay, so I'm much happier now. Now I can, I'm like 100% happy with this pen because it came with the converter and cartridges. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it's just that I was so excited when I got the box that I just didn't look underneath. Anyway, uh, whatever. This is great. Now I'm like, again, 100% happy with this. So <laughs> let's look at the actual pen. Adorable. There, are, I just, oh my God, I just love this pen. This color is like right up my alley. I love it. Creamy, yellow. The top is like a pale pastel baby yellow. It's got the Sailor logo, like the Finio classic Sailor clip. Clip is snug, but you can slide your pen onto stuff. Um, the usual center band, which says Sailor Japan founded 1911. You ready for the cute part? Here is the little Dorian. It's so cute. And uncapped, you have the usual um, color match section, which you find on the Pro Gears, but not on the King of Pen. And if we open it up, you can stick your Sailor cartridge or converter in there. Um, we have a wicked, wicked zoom nib. Now the zoom nib is like one of my favorite nibs. It's not only fun for just like not modifying it, but it's got such a blob of tipping that it's great for an architect grind, which is awesome. So um, let's show you, let me show you the nib in, um, let me grab the loop here. Wait, uh, before I show you the nib, let me show you the number. Um, the number is on the back of the cap here, 226 out of 338, or 388. And I'm gonna just put my converter back in here. So we're gonna first look at the nib and then we're gonna do writing. And then I'm gonna rant about how obsessed I am with this pen already. So 21 karat gold sailor nib. It is a uh, two-tone 21 karat 875 sailor. You get your logo, you get 1911, single slit, round breather hole. Everything looks pretty lined up there. Like it's pretty good. Um, it does take a plastic feed, and if we are to look at the zoom nib, look how ridic that is. My god, it's like a giant triangle. So it looks like it's going to have quite a wide writing surface um, at, a right, at this writing angle here, and down at the bottom it's quite bulbous. So yeah, let's see how it works. Oh my god, so excited. Guys, this is the first time I'm writing with this pen. It's with you. We're doing this together. We're doing it together. It's going to be so good. Okay. Oh, yes. So good. Wet, juicy. Love it. Sailor. And I'm going to turn that light off because it's blowing up my writing. I know it's a bit darker, but hopefully you can see enough. Pen. Gallery. Um, limited. Edition, limited edition. I'm trying to write at an angle that you can see what I'm doing. 
professional gear. Um, okay, let me see what they got here. Durian Musan King. I'm just doing some different handwriting styles to show you why I love the Zoom Nip so much. Durian Musang King. Now the ink is not a proper color match, but legible as a yellow. This is the new Toronto Pen Company. That's me. Um, we named it Maple Syrup. We picked the ink because we love maple syrup. And it works really well in our workshops. So it's called Maple Syrup. Um, and, uh, oh my god, I love this pen. Okay, so the idea of the Zoom Nib is, first of all, let's just do some writing. Um, it's pretty wet, as you would expect from something this broad. So no pressure. This, and if I apply slight amounts of pressure, you can see it's just getting a bit more ink squeezing out. You're not really gonna get like spreading of the tines and you don't want that. The 21 karat gold nib is not flexible. It is not a soft nib, it's not meant to flex. Um, on the Pro Gears and the Pro Gear Slim, they are firm nibs. The only time you find a somewhat softer nib is on the King of Pen, which is also 21 karat gold, but it's totally different. So don't flex these nibs. Okay. Um, so if we start at a, let me see if I can do this, at a high angle, we get a finer line, well it's actually like a medium, and if we go down to a medium angle, that's kind of what I was writing up there, um, you get like a broader line, and low, get a broad wet line. So you can see the obvious difference as I move the, um, the angle of the pen up and down. And um, I'm just gonna not speak so you can hear the feedback. Interesting how it changes. Um, they're not scratchy, but Sailor nibs, like the Aurora nibs and stuff, like they have a, a certain amount of feedback, which is a good thing. Like to me, it's very um, iconic from Sailor and from Aurora, for example. Like when you're like, oh, it's the Sailor feedback, you know what that is, right? So um, it's it's interesting. Um, free weight, perfect, fast, no problems. It keeps up with no problem, like no skipping, no hard starts. Like, this is one of the reasons I love Sailor. I've used a lot of Sailor pens and I've only had like one that needed work. And it, all that it needed was to be made a little wetter. So it wasn't even like it didn't write. Otherwise, I have had a great experience with Sailor nibs. So I'm super happy with this pen. Um, I really wanted it and really like, I follow Pen Gallery on Instagram and I recommend you do too. So you don't miss out on the good stuff. Delicious. Now, have you ever had durian? I know it's like the horror fruit, but I would love to hear your experiences. Please chime in and tell me hilarious durian stories. Maybe you love it, maybe you hate it, but I want to know because it makes me laugh. Um, I can't draw a durian, but I can, I can try. No. Here's the inside of the fruit. <laughs> uh, it's like a liver or something. Um, yeah, so overall, uh, superb experience. I had no issues with pen gallery. The pen arrived safely, pens arrived safely and everything was great and I'm super happy with it. And I know it's like the not the most inexpensive pen out there. Sure, you could buy all sorts of things for 350 bucks, but I love it and it makes me happy and it's yellow. So it's wonderful. So um, I'll put a link for pen gallery so you can check it out. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm Gourmet Pens 
on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Patreon, and Instagram. And I'm also on there as Toronto Pen Company, where I do calligraphy and cool tools and stuff like that. So come find me. I would love it if you would like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And definitely follow me on Instagram because there's something good coming up. Ah, all right, something good coming up. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.